Hello YouTube, it's William. Welcome to another video. This is the initial Warbonnet Blackbird XLC setup. Uh, I've been wanting one of these for, man, um, ever since I saw one a couple of years ago. I love hammocks. Love hammocks. But I always sleep cold. I can only use one for maybe about five, six months out of the year. Because I'm, I, once the temperature gets down in the 60s, man, I just freeze to death in them. And I've said this in many videos. And also, I'm not the smallest guy in the world. <laughs> not the biggest either, but not the smallest. So I wanted something that was roomy. Uh, I've got a Hennessy, one of the older types, and the one that you climb in through the bottom. And it was roomy, but it just it, it, it was just such a pain to get in and out of. I thought about going back with a new style Hennessy, but I saw this Blackbird in a couple of demonstrations and I just had to try it. <laughs> so I finally pulled the trigger on it a couple of weeks ago and well actually it's been about a month or so ago. I saw Living Survival do his, uh, his video on it and um, fantastic job buddy, fantastic job. Finally I just said I gotta have one. <laughs> So here it is, and I, I'm not. I mean, I've got the uh, the um, double bottom where you slide stuff into it. Um, actually, it wasn't by choice. I, des I decided that that uh, I was just the single bottom was fine, and then they called me and said that they were changing their camo pattern, and they didn't have any more of the single bottoms, but they had double bottoms. And so they ship me a double bottom and no additional cost. Can't beat that. Great customer service. Okay, thumbs up, guys. You, did, you guys did wonderful. So I ended up with a uh, a dual bottom uh, Blackbird XLC. I called in this thing, and I should have did this years ago. <laughs> it's just awesome. Um, but that's not all I got with it. So let me uh, climb in this right quick and uh, show you how roomy it is. At the very end, there's a pocket where you can put your feet so when you sleep at an, at an angle. I mean, I am almost, well, I am flat. Um, and you'll see that this is the, the dual bottom where you can slide a, a mat in there, kind of cut down on the, on the convection, I think is what it's called, where the cold air doesn't, doesn't hit your back and cold, cool you off or freeze you to death in my case. But uh, this is it. It has a little little shelf. Hope you can see it right here. So you can put all your stuff on. You can put your books and knives and guns and whatever you need up there. Kind of get them out of the way. And uh, has a little tie off right here. Hope you can see that. It ties off. Keep this screen, this bug net off of your face. Love that feature. And uh, I mean, it just <laughs> my shoulders are not squeezed. The other hammocks I have, I have the Eno, um, have several different hammocks, and they were so narrow that my shoulders were squeezed. Um, but this one, I mean, the shoulders are not squeezed. I am flat. I don't know if you can see that or not, but. The hammock is longer than the, the other hammocks, so you just you don't get that squeeze factor. So I'm really going to enjoy this hammock, but that's not all I got with it. Stay tuned. Since I do sleep so cold, I also got the underquilt. 
and I've tried many different uh, systems with a hammock. The uh, pad in the in the hammock, which does all right, but inevitably during the night, you always slide off the pad and you wake up cold. Uh, I did the uh, the car sunscreen shield. I've done just about everything that you can imagine trying to uh, to fix that situation. But everybody always said get you an underquilt and forget about it. So I got the underquilt. So what I'm going to do, and I think this one is the uh, 20 degree underquilt. Yeah, 20 degree underquilt. Okay, because I mean I'm in Texas. And you're not gonna, you're not gonna get that cold. All right. So let me put this on right quick and show you what it looks like. All right. Now there's the underquilt installed. <clears throat> now I got the full one. It goes from the head to to the feet, and it lays at an angle because your feet should be at an angle to lay flat. So that's a good feature, and it just it's easy set up. It has a little tie on the side that you can tie it off. Make sure it doesn't get out from under you at night. Just hooks on one end of your, your belts and, and on the other. And um, that's uh, that's the setup. So hopefully I've got from my area I mean I'll probably have to have a, another bag on the inside, sleeping bag or blanket or something. But I'm hoping that this is going to be a 10 month out of the year sleep system for me because on my back a hammock is the best way to go now the straps that i got with it is just the cinch straps that you just pull tight and i like that on the this end all it is is just a a load bearing uh climbing clip or c clip d clip whatever you want to call them that I, I bought from them from Warbonnet and uh, it just hooks in there and hooks around a tree then you tighten it up by just pulling on this that's uh, that's the sleep system <laughs> now I've got a tarp I got the uh, the uh, Cuban fiber tarp I'm gonna put this over this just right quick to see how it's gonna look but it should it should be all right, but we're gonna try it and see. Well, there it is. I don't have enough tie outs here at the house to set it up right, but <clears throat> that's what it's gonna look like. I think I'm gonna get good coverage. It's uh, during uh, climate weather. Of course, uh, the tarp's gonna be lowered down, or uh, it's right on top of the. I think that's that's going to be the setup. I am really looking forward to hunting season. Are you guys? <laughs> starts October the 1st for me. Bow season starts. I think I'm really going to like this hammock, this setup. Oh, I really do. Um, looking forward to getting in the woods and trying it out for a few nights. So, for right now, War Bonnet is a great hammock. We'll see in a few, few trials, and uh, I know it comes highly recommended by everybody that uses one. So, uh, just laying in it, plenty of room, no shoulder squeeze, plenty of leg room. Uh, I, I'm about six foot, weigh about 250. Um, so perfect size for me right now now we're gonna sleep in it a few times and give another update but uh, I'm, uh, I'm really happy with it so far I really like this shelf right here that shelf right there is just awesome I can lay my stuff over in there don't have to worry about it it's got a guide wire across the top to keep the net off your face you put stuff on that a light and read at night or whatever you want to do I just I think it's just well thought out hammock. Um, so 
Till the next one. You guys get out in the woods. Uh, be sure and try your gear out before you get out in the woods with it. That's what I'm doing here, setting it up, making sure I know how to set it up, making sure I can get all the intricacies, uh, the, um, uh, the uh, little learning curve there, get that started. So when I get out in the woods, I don't, I'm not fiddling around with everything. I'm wishing I'd have brought more cord or more, more of this and more of that. And, and so uh, anyway, test your stuff in the backyard. Don't test it out in the woods when you need it. A little bit of advice. If you do get out there, be sure you take a child with you if you have the opportunity. And uh, plenty of band-aids and lots of knives. We'll catch you again soon.